I got polio. 1949. You had polio? Yeah. Wow. And I went into Bellevue, quarantine. For five years, I stayed there. From six to 11? Wow. Well, I, six and a half. I got up when I was 12. Jeez. I, mean, I got there in the summer. My birthday was December 12th, which is another whole story. What was that like, having polio? I've survived it. 2,700 kids in my ward didn't. Holy shit. And it took three and a half years to, to get a vaccine, which I worry about this one made in nine months. Yeah, I'll tell, tell me about it. But what, so what does polio actually do to your body physically? It, it affects different people different ways. Me, it was my whole left side of my body. Fortunately, I had the strength of my right side. I was paralyzed. I was paralyzed. Yeah. Oh, wow. I was paralyzed for four and a half years. And you're lucky you got it back. It's not a guarantee it gets back, I'm assuming. What's that? It's not a guarantee it comes back, I'm assuming. Oh, no, it's not no guarantee at all. I mean, a lot of kids didn't even survive it. It, it hits different people in different ways. Uh, some people get respiratory with the iron lung. And some people... Mine was all uh, elasticity muscles. It hits Strange. different... And, yeah, so I just was able to... I have, I have no residual. And one day you were just fine? No. <laughs> no, it wasn't that at all, no. I just kept building on it and building on it. And, and we're building a strength up. Yeah. And the good news, like I said, my right side was great, so I was able to drag myself around and basically used to crawl all over the place and get on rails. And I worked out with elasticity muscles to build my muscles. I, I worked with rubber bands and bicycle tubes. And just said, hold them out as long as I can. That was the physical therapy. Yeah, that wow. was my physical therapy. How was it being at Bellevue? <laughs> I only hear horror stories about that place. Well, I tell you, I, I, I walk past there still sometimes. To get, you know, I walk a lot. Yeah. And uh, going past that building, I mean, tears come to my eyes. It's the old building's still there. This, my building's on 30th, not on, on uh, the East End. Okay. That's all new. But the old building's still there. So I'm sorry, I have to get back to the story. 12 years old, you're in Bellevue. You have half your body working when this happened? Yeah, my body's working at that time, yeah. My, body, my yeah. right side. Okay, so you, but still, you have only half a body to fight with at this point. Right. But what happened to me, I've always had a, a, an intuition of strange things. I was dragging myself. They encourage you to get out of the bed. They won't give you a bedpan, nothing. So they, you drag yourself out and get to the rails. And I was in no hurry going back to bed anyway. So one night, going to the bathroom, there was one of those porter's brooms in my way. Okay. That I'd use in the theater mostly. Mm -hmm. So I just threw it under my arm and dragged myself. Like a crutch. To, to the bathroom. I couldn't use a urinal because I couldn't stand up. Wow. So I always went to the fourth toilet. And I broke the bristle off in the radiator. And I used to sit there and, and sharpen it. In the like ground of the shank. floor tile. <laughs> I don't know why I did it. Oh, thank then, God you did. Well, tell me about it. And then I used to, when I left, I used to put it under the, in the radiator. It was hung, hung on the wall. So I put it on that. And then one night he came. They said he would, and he did. And he was trying to convince me that, uh, how do I say it, politically correct, that his penis was a Tootsie Roll. And I, That's a tough sell. Yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> but what he didn't know that I, right at my hands, my right hand was the broom laying on the floor. So while he was concentrating on trying to sell you, taste it, and I just had that. And I, I glided with my, my gimp arm. And the way I was sitting, it hit him under his rib cage. And my, my right side, even now, is still strong. And I, I just hit him right, and under his rib cage went right to his heart. And he was running around the bathroom. He bled out. What a fucking shot! Yeah, and well, he I died right there. He's hoping for your sake at that point. That's your first dead body you've seen. First murder you saw. Well, it was the first dead body because in our ward, if you died before therapy, yeah, when we'd leave or they left, I didn't leave. So you saw people in the hospital then. Yeah, yeah. Now, but even at that age, of five or six, seven years old. To hear these gurneys coming and going, I mean, horrifying. It's devastating because you didn't know if you were going to get out. Yeah, I was already an altar boy, so I was questioning, what, what, why is God doing this to me? 
you know, because I you know, went to church with my grandmother every morning. It was that kind of a thing. So, I, where's your family at this point? When you're at Bellevue, they they can't see you. Quarantine. So no. the polio is contagious, like respiratory wise. Like you can everything. Really, they closed all the swimming pools, public drinking uh, water. Everything it was long. I mean, major situation. So you couldn't have contact with anybody for those years. Nobody. Damn. That's the only person was Dolores Barone, who was my floor nurse, and she was from the neighborhood. She was Carlo Gambino's niece. From the Italy. Yeah. And she was a candy striper. And by the time I got out of there, she What's was a candy a, striper? They were a nurse in training. These, okay. They wear a red and white uniform, so you know who's a nurse, who isn't. And uh, I don't think they even have them anymore. I don't know. But she, she really you know, took care of me, and, and believe me, I needed it because I... I was getting so depressed early on. I can imagine. Like most kids were. They gave up. A lot of them just gave up, eating everything. And just went on. I mean, I, I know grown men that wouldn't be able to survive something like that. So I can't imagine being six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years old and having to deal with that. Oh, no. I mean, it's, it was crazy.